Hello guys and welcome to part 11 of my Alonso career mode from Hungary where we are just one point behind Lewis Hamilton in the fight for the Drivers' Championship. Now as we're just past the halfway stage, we now know which teams have the best performance and which teams are playing catch up. What a season it's been for Lewis Hamilton so far. He and his Mercedes have looked really dominant at times and he'll firmly believe he can go on and secure another world championship from here. One of the big talking points in the paddock ahead of today's race is the rumours that McLaren are talking to Valtteri Bottas about a race seat for next season. Can you see that happening? Would the Finn want to leave Williams to go and race with the Woking team? In F1 you never know, but Valtteri is definitely one of the rising stars in the sport. Of course his manager will be looking for a drive that gives him the best shot at winning his first world title, but with current form, who's to say McLaren can offer him that chance ahead of Williams? And of course, as usual, we will be retiring straight away from qualifying to start from 22nd on the grid. Hamilton. When I was speaking to him early on, I got the sense that he has total confidence in himself and his Mercedes car to take that race victory today. He'll want to end this weekend on a high after yesterday's fantastic performance, but he's going to have a lot of competition. I doubt he'll be expecting an easy race, especially considering the teams around him. It's been a really disappointing season so far for Red Bull. They aren't getting the points that they believe the car is worthy of. Red Bull have clearly suffered the most from the change of regulations. The car is still a good car, but they say the performance of their new hybrid power unit is letting them down. You can guarantee they're working hard with Renault to find a way to bridge the gap to the competition. So here we are for the start of the Hungarian Grand Prix. We've got five lights. Lights out and away we don't go. As usual, we will wait 10 seconds before we eventually set off ourselves, which we do eventually. So can we get another podium result today? At the end of the first lap, we are less than a second behind Kobayashi in the Caterham. And sure enough, two corners later, we pass the Japanese driver up into P20 when we go. And now we're immediately attacking Max Chilton for P20 in the Marusha. I think we're going to. Indeed we do. Up to P20 we go. Fantastic move from Alonso. Next target is Esteban Gutierrez in the Sauber with his teammate just ahead of him. Are we going to move up to P19? Yes we are. And now a few corners later I think we can get the move done with a nice little corner cut there for P18. Lovely stuff Alonso. And now our next target is that prick Marcus Ericsson in the cage room. I'm going to dive bomb him. And the penultimate corner, fantastic move from the Spaniard. And now we've got an absolute clusterfuck here on lap 3. We've got Bianchi, Verne, Maldonado, Grosjean all fighting for P13. And we dispose of the Toro Rosso and Bruchelet. And now we've got to worry about the two Lotus drivers. Don't crash into us, Maldonado. And he actually does listen there, so well done, Mr. Pastor or Maldonado. And we're now going to attack Grosjean for P13, slight contact. We raise the hand up in frustration, but up to P13 we go. And now, coming on to the start of lap 5, we are passing Daniel Kvyat for P12. And our next target now is Jensen Button, nice corner cut, to P11. And we are going to dive bomb him by the looks of it, the penultimate corner, just like we did with Grosjean I believe. And that is us up into P11, I think. Although we still got Button on our inside. But eventually we do make the move stick. And now, hopefully with the help of DRS, we can overtake Perez down into turn 1 for P10. We may have to break later than him. We do. And now we are up into the points. Our next victims are Magnussen. And then Nico Hulkenberg. Beautiful move. And another beautiful track extend from the Spaniard there. And we're now overtaking Hulkenberg for P8, are we? Yes, we do. But he does go a bit wide. So that does compromise his exit slightly. But no matter. Doesn't affect Alonso in the slightest. And I think Lewis Hamilton came up, made his first stop and he came out behind us. But now, coming on to start of lap 11. And he's already found his way past us. Can Raikkonen help us in any way? Hold him up? Which could give us a chance to re-overtake Hamilton ourselves. Ooh, slight contact between the two of them. This may give us an opportunity, but Hamilton with those fresh tyres. 
just blitzes past our teammates and we're gonna dive bomb Raikkonen slight contact again but it looks as though we got past our teammate and we can now give chase to Hamilton but contact has been made between the two Ferraris and Alonso is in the wall does he have any damage well it looks as though he may have gone away with that I can't see any damage at the moment on the front wing but as soon as he tries to turn left, it's quite clear that something's wrong, and yes, he does indeed have damage there. But we're going to have a replay now of this incident. Again, very aggressive manoeuvre from Alonso. It looked as though we did have the move done, but clearly not. Raikkonen's front or left end plate made contact with our right rear wheel, and that caused us to um, lose control of our car, so... Yeah, disastrous moment in the race for Alonso and Ferrari as well in their pursuit of beating Lewis Hamilton. But we must, if we want to get that podium place, we can't give up now. And we begin by overtaking the Force India of Hulkenberg, I believe that was, for P8. And we now have taken Bottas for P7. And now we've got our arch nemesis in front of us, also known as our prick teammate, Kimi Raikkonen. And we're going to try to take him, but we lose control. I think we had all four wheels on the grass there, so we lost the back end. And now we have to re-overtake Bartas again for P7. Getting the move done, another little corner cut there. But he won't care about that. And now, third time lucky perhaps. Oh my, that's a um, slightly weird place to overtake, I think. But he gets it done. And once again, there was contact between the pair of them, but... They actually got away with it this time, so no harm there. And at the end of lap 23, we can see Ricardo pit in, so that does briefly put us up into the podium positions. Maldonado parking it on the apex like he does, typical pay driver. And then at the end of lap 24, I think, we now put on a set of prime tyres, I think. So this should see us through to the end of the race, and we come out in P6. But moments later, we did run wide, and that did give Ricardo a small chance of regaining P6 from us. But thankfully, that didn't come off for him. And now, we're getting held up by this prick again. Marcus Ericsson in the cage room. And we cut the chicane in frustration. But no matter, because at the end of lap 25 now, we are going to attempt another overtake on Bottas. This time, for P5. Down into turn one. We break later than him and we get the move done. Yet another corner cut there. Well, the stewards clearly must be Fernando Alonso fanboys because surely he should have picked up a few penalties by now. But you know, if they don't want to give him the penalties, then you know, who can blame them? Alonso is the best driver in the world, no doubt. And as we can see there, Massa making his final stop, the end of lap 27. And now, lap 29. We are overtaking Vettel for third place and a spot on the podium. And we get the move done. Fantastic driving from Alonso once again. But I think that's Rosberg coming out in the pits. Yes, it is. So he, for whatever reason, made a very late stop. And that does put us up to P2. But it only lasts for a lap, though. Rosberg on those much fresher tyres just breezes past us. And... There's nothing we can do about it. And he just pulled away. So, in the end, P3. Another podium result. So confirmation of the result, we do eventually finish in third place behind the two Mercedes drivers and for the Drivers' Championship, that does mean we are now 11 points behind Hamilton and 39 points ahead of Nico Rosberg. But that'll do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time for Belgium.